Hello friends. So this problem is about a speed of a falling rope supported on a nail. So problem says, figure shows a uniform smooth flexible rope of mass m and length 2l which is symmetrically supported on a nail a. If due to a slight jerk rope starts falling, find its speed when it lifts off the nail. So we have been given a nail, so this is the nail we have. On this nail, this side we have rope and this side we have rope. And the total length of rope is 2L, this means this side length is L and another side length is also L. And the mass of this rope is given and that is equal to M. So mass of rope is given and length of rope is given. Now it is said that this side we apply a slight jerk then what will happen this rope will start coming this side and one time will come then whole rope from this side will go on the top and then rod, rope will fall. So when this just leaves off the nail we have to find velocity of or a speed of the rope. So what we have to find we have to find a speed of rope. So how will you do that? So you first see where the total energy is and when the second situation when the rope is falling what is the total energy? So this figure that is this side shows the just before the falling so just so this figure shows just before leaving off so what will be this length so can you tell me this length will be so this length will be 2l because total length has now came this side and mass is m now let us try to find total energy initially and total energy finally. So this is the reference line if I say. So this mass, energy of this side of mass of rope, we can assume that this is concentrated at the this position that is center of mass of this side of the rope. And for this side, this total energy is again concentrated at this point. So this distance will be how much? This distance will be L by 2. So we can say the total potential energy will be mz and this will be this side mass will be m by 2 and this side mass will be m by 2. So this side we will have m by 2 mass and this side we will have m by 2 mass because total mass is m. So we will have total initial potential energy is mz L by 2 and this mass is half plus m by 2 that is half z L by 2. So this is initial potential energy. So we can write this is nothing but initial potential energy. This is equals to mg L by 4 plus mg L by 4 that is mg L by 2. Now let us write final potential energy. So where will be the center of mass? Now this will be located at a distance of L. So this is the point and this is located at L. So this will be, so we can write final potential energy will be mz L because this is the midpoint so this total length is 2L so this length is half so MZL so final potential energy is MZL now we can apply energy conservation that is loss in potential energy loss in potential energy is equals to gain in kinetic energy So now this rope is moving in the vertical downward direction with velocity v or a speed v. So loss in potential energy is mzl minus mzl by 2. So this is the loss in potential energy 
and gain in kinetic energy is nothing but half mv square. So this will be mzl by 2 is equals to half mv square. So from here you can say v is nothing but under root zl. So rope will be moving in the downward direction with a velocity under root zl. Now question for you. You can also solve the same problem by considering center of mass of the system. So this was your reference line. Now what, where was the initial center of mass? So this will be, so this will be at L by 2. So this will be the initial center of mass. So you can say the initial center of mass of the whole system is located at a distance of, so this distance, total distance is L. So this distance is L by 2. So what you can say is total mass that is M and this is located at a distance of L by 2. So total mass, remember this time this is the total mass. So this will be the initial potential energy. And what will the final potential energy? Again total mass is located at the middle. So this distance will be L. So total potential energy in this case is mzl. So basically you can verify yourself that if you consider the total mass is concentrated at the center and you write the potential energy initially and finally potential energy and then equate it with the gain in kinetic energy you get the same answer. So let us discuss in the comment box whether you are getting the same answer or not. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please share with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.